So, race 35, with just four races to go for the season, is the start as always. Hurdle final up first, over two and a half miles. A fairly small field. Sins of the Angels with Joshua Sunderland is number one. The top weight, Troy for Paul Rhodes is second. Isla Nods for Darren Thompson is number three. Sorry, near do well for Kevin Meenahan is four. Dane Time Out for Daniel French is five. Mufrage, Wisdom for Alex Jerry is six. Simple Deal for Craig Beckwith is seven. Grip it and tip it for Ryan Costello is eight. Redwood Edition for David Robertson is nine. Taylor's the eighth for Alex Jerry is ten. And Seal Team for Paul Rhodes makes up eleven. A challenge for the hurdle final here. As you've all qualified here at Aintree. Stunner's got him away. And pushing on out of the pack is Dean Timeout. Daniel French is going to leave this over the first of the 12 flights I'll have to take here at Aintree on the finals day. And they all stream over the first. A little bit of a mistake on landing, I think, by simple deal. And towards the rear, Taylor's Latham Red Edition. But it's Dane time out, although taking a hold. Simple deal pushes out as they go over the second. And they'll take that well. A bit of a change up front. The simple deal takes it on now from Dane time out out wide. Up against the fence is Sins of the Angels. They get to the third, and Sins of the Angels made a mistake on landing there, as well as near do well at the rear. But it's simple deal that's going to leave them left handed now. Away from the grandstand. Just over two miles still to go. It's simple deal from Mufraj Wisdom in second. Through the trees. The outside of that is Dean Time Out and grip it and tip it. And we get to the fourth. Oh, and the leader went straight through it. And he's lost all his momentum. He had a good four or five length advantage there. And Dean Time Out gets within two now. And grip it and tip it. Mufraj Wisdom on the inside. On the wide outside it is Lenoz. We've got Sill Team. Which is through in the green silk yellow sleeves is Troy. Towards the fence, Sins of the Angels, Raybould Edition, and Near Do Well, and Taylor's the F just at the rear. But a simple deal that's going to lead us to the next. Takes it well, as they all do. And the little slight at the rear was Taylor's the F, the eighth. Simple deal. We're going to lead them past the grandstand and the winning post. And we get to the sixth flight, all over it. Slow jump by Raybould Edition. Simple deal that's going to lead them past the grandstand, the winning post. Now for another circuit, a mile and a half to travel, and it is simple deal from Dane Time Out. Out wide is Lenoz up against the fences, Mufraj Wisdom, and we've got Grip It and Tip It. Green Silks of Kevin Mina Hands, near do well, widest of all, and coming on the inside of that is, I think, Troy. And then we've got uh, Seal Team, Josh Sutherland, Sins of the Angels, and Redwood Edition. Taylor's the eighth. They're all pretty close to the chasing pack. And they've allowed a simple deal to have a six length advantage, maybe seven. As they run on down now to the next. It's simple deal. By about six to grip it and tip it. That's moved into second on his own. His little nose is a bit wide. Widest of all is Seal Team, making up a little bit of ground. As we come down to the final mile, and flight number seven. Six from home, as they say. And it's simple deal. It's going to lead them over it. Takes that one better. Oh, poor jump on the wide outside. I think there by uh, Troy didn't take it particularly well. Neither did Seal Team. Although being hurried along again to maintain his position. And it's simple deal that leads them over the eighth. So with just four left to take, it's simple deal. Moving out of the pack now is Dane Timeout as they close into this leader's advantage. We've only got a length and a half now as they all stream over the ninth. A couple of slower jumps, but it's still a simple deal that leads from Dane Timeout. Seal Team out wide in between horses is Taylor's Leith. Redwood Edition pushing through. Near Do Wells up against the fence now. Is Lenoz is out wide. And it seems that the Angel starts to make a move. And they've got Grip It and Tip It and the two at the rear and Mufraj Wisdom and Troy. So as we come down to the final half mile, as they go over the tenth with just two to take, it's still a simple deal that leads from Dane Time out. Taylor's Leith running on Redwood Edition. Seal Team out wide near do well sitting pretty since the angels made up a little bit of ground but got it still a little bit more to do but it's simple deal that leads us as we swing left handed to line up for the judge with three furlongs to go and just two to jump it's simple deal that's going to lead them into the penultimate simple deal from deal from dame time out redwood edition taylor's lathe near do well hasn't asked for anything on the inside and running well seal team and sins of the angels are under a lot of pressure as we go over the penultimate they will take it well and it's still simple deal from dame time out taylor's lathe a furlong and a half to run one to go and it's simple deal, still hanging on to the lead 
here from Daytime Out Redwood Edition. Here comes Near Do Well on the inside, but inside the final furlong, and it's Simple Deal just by a length of Near Do Well Redwood Edition. Daytime Out, but Simple Deal just hanging on here. The easy gun is the post going to come in time, and it's Simple Deal from Near Do Well Redwood Edition, but it is going to be Simple Deal. Simple Deal takes the stars all the hurdle final from Redwood Edition, I think, got up for second. So I win there for Craig Beckwith. Well done. Takes the hurdle final here at Aintree. From Redwood Edition, home for second. Near do well just made third. Dame time was fourth. Seemed to be Angels was fifth. Okay. Fred Daney. I'm not sure of that. Maybe we're home for six. So it is. Simple deal for Craig Beck with good win there. Takes the final. From Redwood Edition for David Robinson in second. Third was Near do well for Kenny Meanham. Fourth was Dame time out for Daniel French. And fifth was Sin to the Angels for Josh Sutherland. I'll hand you over to Martin for the chase version of the Starters Orders final. Good luck in that one.